Okay, folks, I'm going to do a little uh, cutting up some trees for logs for a test out on the sawmill. Uh, this tree, I want gone so I can make it cut this uh, corner here. It uh, tapers off pretty good once it gets to this point, pa past this, and then it makes a curve. It'll get, oh, definitely one by fours, maybe, uh, uh, I think one by six would be wishful thinking. I got this tree I might be able to get two logs out of, but I think it has a curve somewhere up in here. Yeah, right at the first branch it makes a curve upwards. After the second branch it straightens out, so that might... Or else that might be firewood, but that is uh this will definitely get one by six or uh two by six out of it, definitely two by fours. Might be able to squeeze out eight footers on that one. This one I'm not sure I'm gonna take down yet, but I'll probably let that one grow. Then I got a couple more I can take out. This one here, it has a pretty good curve at waist levels where it curves straight up. So after that one, I could get some log out of. This one is pretty good up until this side branch. And then it kind of curve, kind of curves out a little bit this way. But I, I could get a. Uh, one by six out of that. I got another one there I could uh, cut down. So today we're going to be logging with the minivan of awesomeness and the battery saw. I got the gas saws for backup. So we'll see how it goes. This is the same battery charge that I had when doing that speed test. Uh, that's a little... Yeah. It's got two bar, two lights. So we'll see. Uh, I'm going to get that first one on the corner. That's the biggest one in the way. And then maybe if I have charge left, I'm better on limb that one tree up.
Well, that's it for that battery. Yeah, that one battery did that one tree and did half of this one. Got six, six and a half foot log out of it because of the curve and taper. This one, I had to cut off an extra piece for one that had a lot of taper and they had a knot. It tapered off really bad after that knot. So at seven and a half to eight foot right there. I'll get something useful out of it. And it's that battery is down to a one bar. Might have enough to uh, finish cutting that up if I were doing firewood. So in these uh, bigger trees, it uh, sucks a lot of uh, power out of it. And this tree is a good uh, 10 inch at the stump. So I might be able to get some 2x6s out of it. Definitely 2x4s. First log is in the van now to try to get the second one in there. This thing is not light. So you can tell, pretty out of breath, I never had to uh, lift stuff that heavy in a very long time. So, got it in there. Definitely need one of those pulp hooks or whatever you call them for a uh, hook in the log so you can hold on one end, hold the other here. Well, let's see, where do I want my log rest in place? Go with the short ones since the log's not very big anyway.
over. Well, I had the camera propped up on the uh, engine of the sawmill. And you saw it tumbled. Pretty easy to slide the log on here. Now to uh, get that log clamped down and do the first scab cut. I'm going to take thin little slabs because this is mainly just a practice log to get used to running the thing.